They radio for help, and now there's no sign of them. Uh, quick, the helicopter line. Hang on, guys. We'll bring you in. Negative, Billy. Drop us back to the speedboat. I have a plan. Welcome back. What's the next move? We've got to rescue that crew. But Gil, they must have jumped ship. We didn't see anybody there. Rocky, a high-tech ship like that can mostly be run by computer. But it still needs a small crew of two or three. They're still there. Just follow me. They should be just up ahead. This is it! It's the crew! Good. You made it. We came as soon as we got your SOS. Let's go. We don't have much time. That's the last of them, Billy. Good work. We'll meet you back at the command center. ship had an emergency plan on file. In rough seas, the ship can turn upside down, but it won't sink. The emergency plan told the crew to secure themselves in that waterproof compartment and wait to be rescued. Even for us rescue heroes, advanced planning and sticking to the plan can save your life. And to think I almost gave up on those guys! Rocky, never give up, no matter what the odds. The three most important qualities you need to be a rescue hero are perseverance, perseverance, and perseverance. Hey, that's what a college professor of mine used to tell me all the time! Let's move! Rescue heroes! Rescue heroes! Are perseverance, perseverance, and perseverance. And is it really true, Professor Granite, that one of your students is Rocky Canyon, the rescue hero? Why, yes, Johnny. Richmond Canyon was one of my best students at the university. Cool. Now, class, we're not here to talk about the rescue heroes. The professor invited us to talk science. Yes, I thought you fifth graders might like to see a real geology experiment in progress. No, oh, what's so great about a bunch of rocks? Adrian, please turn off that video game and you might find out. I'm on level 14 of Backpack Creatures and my squidgy is about to evolve. Adrian? Yes, Miss Metcalf. Here in the San Andreas Caverns, we not only have a wonderful tourist attraction, but also, since it's right next to the San Andreas Fault, it's perfect for earthquake research. So my team and I have come down here to set up earthquake detection equipment. See, if the Earth makes the slightest move, then this needle will jump. 
We want to gather data that might help us someday predict big quakes. All right, class. Now, while we let the professor get back to his work, we're going to tour the upper caverns. Thank you, professor. This is going to be a wonderful experience. My pleasure, Miss Metcalf. I hope you and your students enjoy the tour. Okay, let's set up the last of this equipment. Miss Metcalf, what's the difference between stalactites and stalagmites? I know that. The stalagmites are on the ground and the stalactites hang from the ceiling. Very good, Cindy. <laughs> Do you think we'll get to see the center of the Earth? Adrian, that's way far down. And didn't Miss Metcalf tell you to put that game thing away? I'm almost at the end of level 15. Just a little more. Professor Granite, look at this. Is the needle broken? I don't think so. It seems to be detecting some kind of... Oh, good heavens! Professor? Reese, get those kids out of the caves! We're going to have a... What do you got, Roger? I've intercepted a 911 from Mountain Ranch, California, a place called San Andreas Caves. Listen. I repeat, we have had a serious 5.9 earthquake in Cave Inn. A teacher and four kids are trapped in the upper caves. And in the lower caves, I've lost contact with a research team led by Professor Grant Granite. Grant Granite? He was my professor. According to my instruments, all of the local rescue units are busy responding to other quake damage in the area. They might not be able to make it to the cave-in victims in time. Billy, we've got to help. All right, I'm calling a Code Red Alpha 331. Let's move out. Professor Granite! Oh. Adrian, what, 
What are you doing down here? I fell into the water and it brought me to you. Good. You're all okay. Yes, but the tunnel's been blocked. We're trapped down here. Professor, are we in trouble? No, because we've taken all kinds of safety precautions. We've followed all the rules of spelunking. Spell what? Spelunking. That's the word for cave exploring. And if there's any emergency, we have a plan ready. It's my gas sensor. That must be natural gas coming out of that fissure. We have to get away. There's only one route down. We should first find the fifth grade class here. And then down about a half a mile or so, we should find the professor and his team here. They're down pretty far. What are the chances they're still okay? They have emergency gear and supplies. If I know the professor, he'll find a way to survive. He never gives up. This way. Hey! Over here! Hold on! We're coming to you! Hold it! That rock they're on is unstable. It could collapse any second now. Please help! Don't move! Time, go back up with Ariel. Thanks. You guys are the best. Okay, now come with me and be careful. I sure hope the kid didn't fall into that river. Maybe he ran ahead and got separated from the others. We'll keep going and hope for the best. from some natural underground reservoir. Well, things could be worse. At least nothing ignited it during the quake. All it would take is one single spark. It's an aftershock! on down there that's where it's coming from and there's the professor's research site when the gas reaches that fire we're toast how long do we have I'd say only about two minutes let's move Oh, 
explosion we heard from above must be causing this smoke. We've got to let someone know we're in trouble down here. How? We have no radios. Look! It's a communication line. If only I had some way of tapping into it. Some kind of digital device. Hey, I have something that might help. Another dead end. How could anybody on the other side of this survive with no oxygen tanks? If anyone can get out of a tight spot like this, it's the prof. He'd never give up. Don't know, kid. This is starting to look pretty bad. Billy, do you copy? Billy! Ariel, we can barely hear you. What's up? I'm getting a strange signal on the communications line. It looks like a... a kid's video game. And it says... S.O.S. It's the professor. It has to be. <laughs> professor, <laughs> the smoke. We have to go. <laughs> <coughs> yes, yes. I just hope my message got through. <coughs> Quickly now, we have to get to the underground river. Billy, the signal's gone. Well, somebody's alive down there. Thanks, Ariel. Over and out. How'd the professor find a video game unit to send that SOS? The missing kid must have found a way to get to the professor. But how? It's taking us forever. That's it! We have to go back! The missing boy must have fallen in the river and it carried him to the professor. In an emergency, the professor would have planned to use one of the major lifelines in these caves as an escape route. The river would be perfect. One of his emergency supplies is always an inflatable raft. By floating on the river, he'd be able to move more quickly than on foot. Then that's just what we ought to do. But we'll also string a line from our own raft that will connect us topside. Inform Ariel. This is gonna be tricky. Let's do it! So far, so good, Professor. Yes, but we can't outrun trouble forever. We need real help. the line. The line is secure. Professor, the current's getting stronger. It must have been the quakes. They've weakened the cave walls and caused waterways to open up. Look out! See you alive. We'll get you all out of here. What? Richmond? Somebody actually calls you Richmond? Oh. I don't get it. After that explosion, why didn't you all just assume we were done for? Rocky here told us that you never quit. All he had to do was figure out your survival strategy. And remember to use three important things. What three important things? I know. Perseverance, perseverance, and perseverance. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-uh, Wendy. You forgot the most important thing. I did? But I thought everything was... Whoa! Oh! Ah! 
Ow, my aching head. Exactly my point. You forgot to bring a helmet. Most sports require one, like riding a bike or roller skating. Kids, don't any of you be left out when it comes to protecting your head from harm. Remember, think like a rescue hero. Think safe.